all three religions can be traced back in history, and all three religions are using the same conceptual ideas and belief systems and the words and the terms. They're all telling you something symbolic. But we humans like, we like to think of it as actual history. Mm. But there's, there is no real history in, uh, in Islam and Christianity or Judaism. It's all based on metaphorical stories, metaphors and symbolic metaphors going back into history. Somebody has designed our religions. They've designed our education. Somebody has decided what it is we humans are going to believe, what we're going to teach and what we're going to do. And somebody is, is controlling us from outside the earth, from off planet. And I believe that there are spirits, that there are actual spirits. We call them poltergeists, demons, devils, angels, sons of God, spirits, uh, angels. I don't know what they are, but there's no doubt in my mind that they do exist. There are, there is with us right now on this earth other life forms that are not of this world. They are spirits, demons, devils angels, all kinds of spiritual creatures. And these, whoever they are, because they're here, because too many times we were having that proven, that they are here. And all the ancient religions of the world realized that there were demons and devils and good angels, bad angels, and angel is simply ange, which is a messenger, and L was God. And so Angel is a messenger of God. Well, what are you talking about? I'm not sure what we're talking about. I'm sure that there's something out there that is communicating with us and is guiding our lives, is our destiny, they're guiding us and what we believe and what we do politically mm-hmm. and how we're living our lives as humans. Something out there is guiding us, and we don't see it, so therefore it doesn't register with us, and therefore it doesn't bother us. We don't see that there are spirits who are guiding the destiny of the human family. They mess with you. They're they're feeding you with ideas and belief systems and teaching you things where we we grow up as a baby. When we come into the world, we just accept the things which our parents are a part of. We accept the culture, we accept their belief systems, and whatever they whatever they believe, that's what we believe. Mm-hmm. Never realizing that where your parents got the idea was from spirits, from ancient times, the ancient world. There were other entities who were here spirit creatures that were teaching the human race how to do things and what to believe. And so I'm totally sure that's the bottom line on everything we're talking about is Mm -hmm. that our religions, our belief systems, our political educational systems are all designed for us by the spirit world. Off-planet spirit world has been messing with us for a long, long time. Right. Millions of years ago, there have been spirits here on this earth and we don't see them, we don't relate to them, and they know it, and so they can use us, they watch us, and we're told in the Bible about the evil spirits and the demons and the devils and the angels. I think there is, in fact, something to that idea that we humans are being misled. We're being played for fools. And we don't question very deeply anything. We don't question where things come from. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a pyramid, a pyramid the size of the Great Pyramid of Egypt, sitting on the ocean floor, on the bottom of the ocean floor in the Atlantic, 10 miles north of Bimini in the area called the Bahama Banks. But nobody seems to give a damn about the pyramid that's sitting out on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Nobody seems to care about how it got there. And virtually nobody knows anything about it because it's not important. It's just a pyramid sitting out there in the ocean. But I'm the kind of person that says, wait a minute, what's going on here? Where did we get this idea of pyramids? Where did pyramids come from? And how come there's one on the ocean floor in the Atlantic? How come there are three pyramids on the Giza Plateau? What's going on with these pyramids and with all these ancient temples? 
and the and the Bob Beck stones and all these great stone uh you know buildings and things which have been presented to us I mean there are stones uh, that have been cut incredibly smooth right. beautiful large stones that weigh like a thousand tons a thousand ton stone cut flawlessly so that the the side of the stone is like a mirror it has a mirror finish and it's crystal clean and the cut is like a razor's edge on the on the edge because something cut a thousand ton stone perfectly flawlessly and laid it into place with other thousand ton stones and built a great great uh, buildings and great edifices and i'm just saying mm. somebody better look at where we have come from who we humans are and are we being played by spirit entities that you could call extraterrestrials or ufos and all that connection is mm. there in the bible that they were called spirits and demons and devils We're talking about the same thing. A spirit world is leading all of us. And we're so damnable, ignorant, and self-centered, and egotistical. We are playing right into the hands of the spirit world that's leading us. Even our leaders are misleaders. They're being led by spirits. We're talking about demonism, devil worship. My God, that's become very big now in the world today. You hear a lot about devil worshipers and demonism and child sacrifice and altar boys and raping young, young, young boys. All of that goes back to the same original churches and religion of the Middle Ages, which were doing the same thing they've always done. And all religions have to do with the war between light and darkness, with sex, with the sun, sun worship, the worship of the moon, the worship of the planet Saturn. It's a whole study. And you need to spend years and years reading and studying it right. to understand it finally. And I'm trying to help you so you don't have to spend years. No, and I appreciate it. I, I got to tell you, I really appreciate it. And I, and I advise people, since you mentioned it, uh, to enter into a search engine, if you like, the phrase Bimini, the Bimini Road. And yep. that'll be a common search. I, I read about this as a kid because there were studies done on it in the 1960s. So they were in my libraries when I was a kid, and I used to read books in the library. Library, you know, when those were a thing. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, the Bimini Road would be a good place to start. You can find out about what, what you know, what Jordan was just mentioning. And uh, probably you never heard anywhere else about that pyramid. Okay.